Not another delivery. I told you people are stocked. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing part eight of the Joining the Dark Brotherhood. It is getting near the end of this epic tale of assassination, backstabbing, skullduggery, you know, just general problems. Well, now it's time to go poison the Emperor and, well, fulfilled contract, sort of. I mean, this takes a plot twist, and it's kind of interesting when you first play, and so, yeah, you wind up, you go to talk to Commander Morrow, and hand him the writ of passage so that you can go and play the gourmet. Stop right there. Tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the gourmet. By Azra. The gourmet. I I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. I'm, you're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Not another delivery. I told you people are stocked. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Hmm, you're a Nord? I never would have guessed it. But where in the world did you learn to cook like that? Here in Skyrim? Or maybe somewhere less... Oh, well, uh, actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the Potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? Ah, of course. I suspected as much. Really? Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Okay, now what? Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So... Is that it? Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right then, your secret ingredients been added. 
And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. I found it interesting she didn't care so much that my character was in full battle armor, dragon battle armor, but my character wasn't wearing a chef's hat. Now, what the hell difference does that really make? I mean, the character is in full battle armor, and yeah, he's not wearing a chef's hat. Well, now we're going to go serve the Emperor, and, well, let's just say, yeah, it's going to take a little bit, and then the whole pantomime of going through, and yeah, it just, I don't know what to say. I'm just babbling right now at this point because it's just a few seconds away from having the Emperor served. Tempers. These things happen. Here we are. Gods are nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Your assassination. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful, but befriending one, now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha, here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I, of course, reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... What? No, no, you don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake. I. That man was by far the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead, but I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, see? An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. Make sure there's nothing left to bury. Come on! Stop right there. All right, but you just watch yourself. Next time, I might not be so lenient. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart. The guy's going to let me go, and then all of a sudden it costs 1,500 gold. Yeah, I just paid it. Now we got to get to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. 
oh wait, I can't directly get to it, so now I gotta fast transport to the closest place, Roadside Ruins, and get to the Dark Brotherhood's sanctuary to save the Dark Brotherhood. This is all fairly confusing, and I'm going to fast forward through some things to where I get to the next, how shall I say, important moment. This is nothing but darkness and talking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. She's here? By Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go.
you're alive. Thanks to this. <coughs> Please, <clears throat> there is much I have to say, <clears throat> and not much time. <clears throat> I'm sorry, <clears throat> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus, M Mero, he said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone, forever. Oh, I said this, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us, and I nearly killed you, as I've killed everyone else. Uh, yes, I set you up. I wanted you dead. I betrayed you, the Night Mother, and everything I hold dear. And now, Marrow has betrayed me. I just wanted things to stay the way they were <clears throat> before Cicero before the Night Mother before you I thought I could save us I was wrong but you're alive so there's still a chance a chance to start over rebuild that's why I did uh, this don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my <gasps> sincerity. I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill me. If I hadn't heard... Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mede II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans, for you are the listener and must bind this family together. Admit, I'm having trouble coming to terms By with all Sithis, this. what a mess. I guess me. this is the end. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? But that would mean... You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. 
the family. <laughs> All right then, go, go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Moltier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. And this is the end of part eight. I'm going to put part nine back to back with this. And you have to talk to the original purchaser. And you're going to have to fulfill the contract and kill the emperor. And I'll do that with the next video. If you like this video, Hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon because I post four videos a week involving video games as well as a short on Wednesday and you don't want to miss out. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and thanks for stopping by.